Hey there, I'm Markus from Frostech.org and today I'd like to introduce you to something really cool. It's called Zapier you, or Zapier. Uh, you probably have heard about it already. It is um, around for quite a long time already, but only recently um, it got more and more popular because um, it supports so many cool services and apps out there. So what Zapier is uh, basically doing, with Zapier you can uh, create um, like uh, really complicated workflows um, with the data that you, for example, collect um, uh, on your website through form and generate leads, and then you want to um, to forward those leads to let's say Salesforce, and then you want to do much more with it. For example, um, at the same time you want to um, uh, to submit the form data that you uh, that you collected um, to Google Sheets, yeah, all at the same time. Um, you can do it parallelly, you can uh, do it um, like, sequence, sequ uh, like in sequences, so you can attach um, uh, as many apps as you want um, in order to uh, create your workflow. And um, the great part about uh, Zephyr is not just that, it's also about um, if you're using um, um, a form builder in Joomla, for example, that doesn't support um, uh, certain service out there, there's no integration for it, um, then the, the, it's very likely that Zapier already uh, supports it, so you don't need to, um, to wait until your developer um, uh, has created something like that, uh, such an integration, you simply use Zapier. And Zapier, um, by now I think they have like uh, more than 400 integrations, for services like, as I said, Google Sheets and um, uh, Salesforce, and uh, even Glip is supported, um, PayPal, um, all that stuff. So um, what you're gonna uh, do here in this uh, tutorial is um, um, creating um, a breathing forms based form. And uh, what we want to do in the end, we want to use Zapier to uh, forward um, uh, breathing forms um, submissions uh, into Google Spreadsheets. We already have a, um, a Google, uh, separate Google uh, Spreadsheets integration, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, because I think it's a very uh, simple example, uh, we're going to re redo that here uh, with uh, Zapier. So, um, you will need um, basically um, three things. You will need a, a Zapier account, which is free. Um, you can do a lot with it already. Uh, for regular, normal use, um, it's uh, pretty enough. And um, then you will need, of course, to have a, a Google account. We assume that you have a Google account. Um, here we're gonna uh, need um, a specific uh, Google Drive, which holds the uh, this uh, spreadsheet feature, and of course you need Breathing Forms Pro, uh, which includes um, a separate um, Zapier plugin that you just install into Joomla. Uh, of course you need to enable it. Um, we already assume here that you already know how to install. Um, uh, Joomla plugin. So what you basically need to do is you just uh, pick um, pick the plugin uh, from the download and install and enable it in Joomla, and um, the rest uh, is covered here in this tutorial. So um, so first things first. Um, since uh, everything starts with a form, uh, we're just going to create a simple. Um, uh, just going to create a simple um, contact form which will consist of uh, four fields. Um, so let's create one. Zapier contact form. And in the process, um, we'll also, exp uh, also explain uh, a lot of details um, when it comes to how to, um, uh, the, how to set up uh, Zapier. So uh, don't worry, it's not hard. Um, but there are some steps that you just uh, need to know. So, uh, oh, I need to create a page first. So, then let's say we'll create um, a name field. Give it the key name. It's very important because Zapier is using the keys, not the titles, that you, um, that you uh, fill in the name uh, field um, because it will be used as key in Zapier. Uh, then, email field. And 
subject field so very simple and easy contact form and here is the message here so for now this is uh, all that this is all that we need um, and uh, we will come back later to a breathing forms form um, to make uh, some final adjustments for the setup of the plugin. Uh, what we need now is of course uh, a spreadsheet. Um, here I just created a new empty spreadsheet. Uh, we'll call it um, Zapier Contacts. And here it is very important um, to add the column names, the column keys. Uh, they don't need to be necessarily following like ex um, uh, this exact uh, exact um, uh, pattern here because um, the the, uh, the final mapping will be done in Zapier. But I keep it similar, so we have the name, we have email, subject, and message, and that's all we need. But it's important to know that um, the column uh, keys, they need to be in the first row and you also shouldn't use any special characters, uh, no blanks. Um, I noticed there are some uh, problems if you're using even uh, uppercase uh, characters. So I would just uh, keep it uh, simple. Google is quite picky about uh, what, what you're using there. So I would, uh, to make sure everything is working, I would just use lowercase alphabetical characters, uh, Latin, and that's it. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, usually. So, um, that's it from this side. We don't need more here. And now we're coming like, to the juice. Here is Zapier. And what we need to do, we need to create a Zap. It's done pretty easy. You could choose uh, any of the available apps. They have quite a lot if you would search for it, but um, we need Google Sheets, so we are clicking on it. And we would like to create a new um, spreadsheet. Oh, I did a mistake, but good that I did it because I need to explain you something. I was just um, making a mistake. I was uh, starting uh, with a, um, I was thinking to start to use an action, but we need to start to um, use it with a trigger. Um, so uh, triggers is basically what um, what starts the process. So um, in that case, this is totally wrong. I'm sorry for that, but don't worry, we can make a new zap. So we need to start with a trigger. The trigger is not um, Google Sheets. It is the webhooks app so and the web webhooks app is pretty amazing because uh, you can use that to connect uh, almost uh, every um, uh, almost every um, app or uh, program with it um, and if you're choosing here catch hook what it does is um, your app in our case breathing forms simply posts the data um, to the webhook that we select here so and then it, uh, the whole process is triggered. Yeah, so we use catch hook here. Um, we can leave this empty. Um, what what you could do if you would uh, if you would have like com uh, complex data um, in the, which is transferred via JSON format, you could pick like uh, parts of it. But we uh, want the whole thing, so we just uh, need to keep it empty. And um, here we get the, um, the webhook URL. And this is what we need for breathing forms. Namely, to add this into the Zapier setup. So first of all, we need to enable uh, the Zapier integration. And then we just add the webhook. We could even add more webhooks. If you would, for example, have many apps, you just add one hook per line. So this is pretty comfortable. Uh, you could also uh, enable the head data and exclude fields, so they're not going, uh, going to be transferred, and then um, <coughs> attach um, the exports. Um, files, file uploads, and those exports, they will be basically transferred as links to the files, so you will have, um, it will result in, um, in a web uh, URL, HTTP, HTTPS, 
depending on how your website is <coughs> being set up. And um, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the action um, app that we're going to use in the end finally decides what to do with it. So if you have an app, for example, that is clever enough to check that there is an uh, image and it will just download the image from the URL given. Yeah? But the files themselves, they are not going to be transferred. That's what I wanted to uh, make clear here. So, <clears throat> then we're going to save it. And very important is that we are now doing a test submission. Uh, we need to do that um, so Zapier will get uh, an, a sample submission so it can analyze the structure of the, of the submission. Um, this is very important for the mapping later with uh, Google Sheets. So we're going to do that right now. So submit it, <clears throat> and then um, we have to confirm that we did actually this, and then we need to wait a little um, until uh, Zapier processed everything correctly, and then when it says uh, says test successful, um, the data arrived. So we can continue. And once we have done that, uh, we are supposed to choose the action. That's where I made the mistake. Here we have to choose uh, our Google Sheets app. This is what we're going to do now. And um, the action would be to create a new spreadsheet row. So for every form submission, there is a new spreadsheet row. So we're going to click Save and Continue. Um, you can, of course, uh, you won't have that, but uh, you can connect to your Google account right now, or you have to do that. I don't know what's ah, had to wait a little, so we're gonna allow that. So this makes uh, so this allows uh, Zapier to interfere with your uh, Google account. So this is done. And then we actually have to choose. Um, the, uh, the spreadsheet that we just created. I had done another one entitled in themselves. I hope it's that one. If not, then we can simply change it. And then in the worksheet, we choose sheet one because sheet one is always the default sheet. Uh, sheet. And you already see that it pulled um, the columns that we created here. Ah, then you see already Zapier added um, a test um, record here already, added by Zapier. Ensuring you can access the spreadsheet, feel free to delete it after your old setup. This is very good news. So it works, but what we need to do now is to create the mapping of every field. So since we before in our trigger, we uh, did the test submission and click here, Zapier now, uh, now knows what fields there are. So we just can check them. So for message, message, we choose the Zapier contact form message, for name, the name, and so on, for the subject, the subject, and for email, email. Um, the order, unfortunately, um, uh, can be like sort of random. It happens, uh, it happens like, um, actually, I didn't get around my, my head. Uh, already it appears to be random <coughs> but it's not a problem for setting up it doesn't do nothing to you but um, if you're expecting for example to start with the name and then the subject and then the email and so forth um, then be aware that uh, um, the um, uh, that it could appear like a little bit random but for the setup it's not a problem we just need to do it one time and that's it so we just continue and here we go everything is set up we're going to create, continue, and finish the thing. So, give it a name. And Google Sheets. And then we have to turn on the Z. And here it is in your uh, dashboard. So, now it should work right away. 
So let's send some other test. Hey, is it working? Yes. And now we should see in here. Hey, it is working, yes. So that's how it works. You can attach almost everything that Zapier supports. You can connect breathing forms, uh, form submissions now to, as I said, more than 400 services and the amount of services Zapier is supporting is growing, so it will be even more. So that makes it very important and easy, to, uh, easy for you to actually use that because um, we, of course, don't have the manpower to do, um, to do uh, integration for every service that is around there in Zapier solves exactly this. There are exceptions. There's, for example, no Skype support, <coughs> which we have a, a, an awesome uh, a plugin for. For these kinds of um, uh, for these kinds of services and apps, we of course continue to do uh, specialized um, plugins, but for very, very special stuff, <coughs> or if you need a workflow, Zapier is a um, tool of choice. So thank you very much. We have the same um, tutorial here uh, in text form uh, at CrossTech in a documentation setting. And I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, then I would say bye and uh, see you later.